Smoking alone for the first time can be a daunting task. A little inexperience can make you truly fear you'll smoke the grass wrong and end up in the shadow realm. And a part of that's true. If you never smoked alone before, you gotta understand it leaves you susceptible to your demons more than any other scenario. In Fortnite terms, running solos can really feel like you queued solo squads with the amount of demons you gotta fight off. Truthfully, I'm not one to talk though, because the first time I smoked alone, I did it out a goddamn banana. I was truly struggling back in the day. This particular instance of my first time, I think it was my fourth time ever smoking weed in my life. I came into it so inexperienced, I didn't even consider something could go wrong. It was the day after I had some boys over. We had gone questing for Zaza the night prior, and when the next day came, I had a little leftover nugget in my name. So once they all left my abode, I got a real sinister and evil idea inside of me. I got the idea to smoke it on my lonesome. The only issue, I was so new to weed, I didn't even have a method to smoke it. I went on Google and looked up homemade ways to smoke weed, and that's how the banana thing happened. Then came the second problem all low-level za smokers encounter, and that's masking the smell. And to be honest, I don't really have a very keen nose. My sense of smell is kind of fucking bad. But I just turned my fan on full and blew the smoke out the window. It was really the best I had. I won't lie though, the banana was goaded. The banana was a little too goaded because I ended up smoking way more of that razzmatazz hop skiddly do than I thought the banana was capable of. <gasps> I expected some janky doohickey that hardly worked, but the banana method was truly valid. I only took like two to three hits since my tolerance was so abysmally small. But even from that, I started to see God. The chronic lung pain started to settle in immediately. It was so bad, I was praying to God like, please Lord, free me of this pain. I didn't mean to smoke this weed. It was an accident. I really don't know how this happened. I was in recovery from this for like half an hour. I straight up thought it would never end and my high would be ruined because of it. So once I healed, I went on TikTok to rot myself from the inside out. But in my scrolling, there was one video that really stood out to me. It was specifically this one image from the video of a Lego Star Wars man. I stared at this picture for like 20 minutes, completely dumbfounded and in awe. I couldn't comprehend this Lego man and it just didn't look right to me. So I did my research and watched the entirety of Lego Star Wars episode three until precisely 12 minutes and eight seconds into the video when I saw him. This is not the same as this and it fucked me up. Immediately, I called Roderick like, bro, they fucking changed him, bro. What are you talking about? This Lego guy, he's not the same. They changed him. You have to come over right now, dude. I'll show you. So Roderick heads over to my house while I cannot comprehend why they changed a Lego man. He pulls up and I get the text that he's outside and suddenly my brain does the vine boom sound effect. Wait a minute. If I gotta go get Roderick, that means I gotta go through my house. That means I could be seen by my very own mother. I looked in the mirror to do a quick checkup and bruh, my eyes looked like Squidward when he said, I'm all out of money. And I had no idea if I smelt or not. So I sprint downstairs as fast as I can, acquire young Roderick at the door and take him into my room. Almost immediately, he's like, hey bro, it smells like weed in here and my brain goes vine boom sound effect with extra reverberation and bass boosted ain't no way bro please say you're joking bro i can't have that be the truth nah dude it smells like weed i start to panic i don't know how potent the smell is and i don't know if the smell had leaked out when i left my room now the objective has changed it's no longer about lego men anymore it was about getting rid of the smell as to avoid getting a beating i showed roderick the banana so he took it from me like all Alright, this makes sense. The source of the smell has got to be coming from this banana. So what do we do about it? Give me a lighter. Oh, alright. And Roderick starts smoking out the banana, not before eating the whole thing. Eating that banana is just downright awful. Alright, dude. Now the source of the smell is inside of me. So as long as I don't open my mouth very much, it can't get out. Oh, wow, bro. That's genius. I didn't know you had this much intelligence. Hey, I'm not done cooking 
yet we gotta get the smell out of the atmosphere now the atmosphere yeah dude the atmosphere go get a vacuum go get a vacuum so i run and get the vacuum and then bro turns on the vacuum nozzle and starts attempting to suck the weed smell out of the bedroom's atmosphere wait 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 that vacuum is too loud it's gonna bring suspicion to the noise oh damn good thinking and in an attempt to soundproof my bedroom me and Roderick take my bed mattress off the frame and push it up against the door once we had thoroughly sucked all stench from the atmosphere Roderick was like all right we gotta vacuum the floor now because the odor can trap itself in the carpet so let's suck it out so then we vacuum my entire bedroom our soundproofing was apparently not good at all because all of a sudden my mom opens my door to see what all the noise was and the mattress falls on Roderick. What's all this noise? Oh, you know, I'm just cleaning my room. Are you okay, dude? I think my rib punctured my lung. Okay, but we should be all good with the smell now. This was perfect because now I could show Roderick how they changed the way Lego General Grievous looks in Lego Star Wars. So I showed him the difference and bro didn't really care. He never played Lego Star Wars, so he didn't really have any reaction. After that anticlimactic reveal, he just <laughs> headed home and I was back to being high alone. But since we had cleaned my room, I won't lie, I felt like a king. I felt like I was living in the highest echelon of society so i took a whole shower for like 30 minutes in complete bliss once i was done i got out and looked out my window to enjoy the view to see Roderick's car was still outside my house it turns out he forgot he drove to my house and he was walking home this entire time so i called roman to get Roderick to take him to my house so he can take his car home so we go through with the plan until Roderick gets back to my house and he's like i'm high i can't drive so we call Adam to drive over and bring Kevin to drive Roderick's car home. In the meantime, me, Roderick, and Roman all go up to my bedroom, and as soon as Roman steps in, he's like, it smells like weed in here. Are you joking? After all the atmospheric sucking we did, it still smells like weed. So Roman did a little scouting around until he finds little bits of weed all over my bathroom counter. It turns out Roderick had just spilled them all out before eating the banana and forgot that they were out in the open. So Adam and Kevin come to my house, and as Kevin gets ready to drive Roderick back home, he realized he doesn't know how to drive a stick shift. So we need Adam now to drive Roderick's car since he doesn't know how to drive a stick shift, and they did a whole thing that I completely tuned out because I'm high and can't mentally comprehend their plans. As I'm watching them try and figure this all out, I'm just thinking, damn, if they never changed the way that Lego guy looked, none of this would be happening right now. So since I just kind of tuned this whole thing out, I decided to sneakily turn around and just walk back into my house while this chaos is transpiring outside. Even though at the heart of the cause, it was my fault, I was just like, I can't deal with this right now. And as I went into my room, I won't lie, I still smelt the weed at this point. But I couldn't really bother to care about that either. I was just so mentally fried and I was so high. I decided I would just walk watch funny videos on my iPhone SE until I passed out. Okay, that's the video. Subscribe.